Rayhana says, does Islam allow women to educate themselves to achieve their ambitions, like becoming a doctor, archaeologists, scientists, etc., or her place only is in her house? Well, actually, both are valid, meaning that nothing in Islam prevents a woman from pursuing her studies. She could be a doctor, she can be an engineer, she could be an accountant, she could be anything that she wants to be, providing that the Islamic guidelines are followed. What do you mean? Well, first of all, we know that women are not supposed to study in mixed places. They're not supposed to work in mixed places because in the Salat, the Prophet told us والسلام, that the worst rows of men are the last and the worst rows of women are the first. So even in prayer, in the masjid, in the house of Allah, house of worship, they have to be segregated. And the further they are from one another is the best in re their reward. So how would you classify studying in a mixed environment and working in a mixed environment, staying with an unmahram for eight hours and maybe chit-chatting, maybe taking off the hijab, maybe flirting, maybe praising one another. Of course, this is un-Islamic. But sometimes if a woman is abiding by the hijab, staying away from other students, studying what is essential for the ummah, such as medicine, we need medical doctors, especially female doctors, to treat our women, our wives and sisters and mothers. If she abides by these conditions, then this is halal and permissible. However, staying at home is also something that Islam recommends. As Allah mentioned in chapter 33, verse 33, Remain in your homes, because this is best for the whole community. When a woman stays home, takes care of her family, of her children, of her husband, of her parents, whatever she is supposed to take care of. Rather than going out eight to 10 hours, mixing with men and neglecting her duties, who will take care of the children in the house? The mate. And the maid will take care of the husband. And then we know what happens afterwards. Th this imbalance causes a lot of chaos and disturbance in the community. And this is why there's nothing wrong in a woman studying to achieve her goals, providing that her goals do not go against the Islamic teachings. A woman says, I'd like to be a civil engineer. Sister, if you become a civil engineer, this means that you have to go to projects and you have to work on site. No hijab can help you do that. You have to communicate with laborers. You have to, take, to uh, communicate with uh, men and, and order them and shout at them. And this is totally against Islam. She says, I want to become a judge. You cannot become a judge and talk to men and meet with men and sometimes be in seclusion with men. This defies the purpose of hijab. But yes, becoming anything else that is within the boundaries of Islam for a woman to work, there is nothing wrong in that, inshallah.